Mayday, Mayday, this is Russian. Sure, Storm Carnival. We have seen chaos. This is Mayday, Mayday. Dramatic cries for help as rough seas leave two sailors stranded near Charleston's Harbor in South Carolina. The sailors are now safe, but all eyes are on the low-pressure system that caused the chaotic conditions. And this system could become the Atlantic's first named storm of the year. We'll have that story and full coverage of a multi-day severe weather outbreak right now on Weather Center Live. A double threat tonight as we watch the threat for dangerous severe weather and Invest 90L spinning off the Carolina coast. Welcome into Weather Center Live on this Thursday. I'm Alex Wilson here with Jennifer Lopez. It looks like it's going to be another busy evening as severe storms have already produced a few tornadoes. Let's go. Thanks for staying with us here on Weather Center Live. Want to give you an update on the uh, Torcon values because, you know, we have a Torcon of four today and we're going to keep elevated Torcons in the forecast through the end of the week. Really, the weekend. This is a look at the Torcon for tomorrow for Oklahoma City. Notice a four out of ten for Oklahoma City. They saw the storms. They saw the heavy rain out there yesterday and they are again going to be dealing with the storms tomorrow. The weekend looks like a significant threat right now. Here's what's happening on the radar. We've got severe storms into parts of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle portions of eastern Colorado, Kansas, even getting into north central Texas. And then notice we've got a storm over into Arkansas as well. So plenty of action again on the radar today. It's severe thunderstorm warnings that are dominating the scene. But we do uh, have a few flash flood warnings as well. One into parts of Colorado. Notice this other one right along the Kansas Nebraska line. And then we've got that other Jennifer extending from North Texas into South Central Oklahoma. The side on the southeast coast. The tropics are why you can see on the radar a little bit of that spin. This is a very large area of low pressure that we've been monitoring as well as the National Hurricane Center continuing to investigate this area to see if it's going to be developing. But what we do think it's going to do is stay here for the weekend. So a good chance of rain through the Hatteras area all through the um, Outer Banks down towards the Georgia coast. Alex and yeah, that could really throw a, a wrench into your Mother's Day outdoor brunch plans along the coast. Here's a look at Invest 90 L right now. We've got winds at 45 miles per hour pressure down to 1004 millibar National Hurricane Center still giving this an 80% chance of development within the next five days. And you know, you've heard our experts talk about this regardless of whether it's subtropical or tropical, really the weather will remain the same. We've got the heavy rain showers onto portions of the Georgia coastline right around Savannah, anywhere you see the yellows, that's where the rain's coming down a little harder. Some showers inland from Charleston, so probably back closer to the Orangeburg area. And we've seen a few passing showers down into parts of Southeast North Carolina. Winds gusting over 20 miles an hour from Charleston all the way up towards Hatteras, 26 miles an hour in both Wilmington and Hatteras. So there you're definitely feeling those winds. Wave heights as high as 12 feet right off the uh, South Carolina coast. And we saw earlier from that story of what it did to some of those boaters out there. Here's the wind forecast as we go forward in time. So this is Friday into Saturday. Notice winds up to 25 miles an hour at Myrtle Beach, up to 20 miles an hour in Wilmington. Even Sunday late in the day, still 15 to 20 mile per hour winds in Hatteras. And in Myrtle Beach, it's not going to be great out there through Sunday. Periods of rain heavy at times. So if you're heading up to Broadway at the beach, uh, you know, you're going to be running in between those stores or restaurants. Gusty winds will be an issue. Also rough surf and rip current. So if the rain, the cloud cover didn't keep you away from the beach, Jennifer, hopefully the rip currents will prevent you from going in because it will be dangerous. Then. Incredible rainfall. Yeah, that's there. right. Well, welcome back here to the Weather Center Live. I'm Jennifer Lopez along with Alex Wilson. We have so much to cover tonight, so we want to get ready when they've got all that damage to clean up and then the heavy rain on the way. We'll be checking back in with you. Yeah. And there is a look at some of that rain and it's just coming into Oklahoma City right now. We do find a few of the stronger storms south. It's been along the Red River. Uh, where we have been watching out for gusty winds and some hail. And could see that within this thunderstorm that's uh, got a warning on it. Jefferson and Stevens County, you guys under a severe thunderstorm warning until 615. Cities in the path of this include Harrisburg at 554, Tatum's at 630, Davis just after 7 local time. All right, we're going to continue to bring you the latest.